So I want to quickly take you through a new feature in Illustrator CC that came out January 2014 called Live Corners. This is something that uh, just a long time coming. Okay, it's the ability to you know round corners and do different things to the you know the corners on your objects like buttons, boxes, whatever you draw. Anything, any shape. It can be an open path. It can be a closed path. Uh, anything that has corner points on it, you can do this too. So if I select a square, and if you go to the direct selection tool, and grab that guy, any anchor points that are selected, you'll see the little little guy right here. So you can actually see that we have this live corners widget. And all I have to do is hover over it, click and drag, and you'll see what it does. By default, it's going to do a rounded corner. It's also going to show me a little measurement label there to give me an idea of you know what the radius is. So it rounds the corners by default. Now if I want to, let me do this. I'm going to get rid of that by just dragging it straight back. There's a bunch of ways to do that. If you want to just do maybe one or two corner points, anchor points, I could say, I could just shift click or drag across. Let's say I click on these two here and you'll see the little widgets. You could even do it across multiple objects and paths. And if you drag one of the live corner widgets, you'll see that it happens everywhere. That's kind of neat. Now, if you go too far, there's going to come a point where it has to kind of stop. And what's interesting here is that I've got three anchor points selected. If you look over there, see the red? Watch this. I click and drag. You'll see that dark red show up. That means that's it. <laughs> We're not going to go beyond that. So if I kind of select those and do that, you can see it happen. Now, you can also do something like this. If you want to change, there's three different options for this, the live corners. If you come up to the, one of the anchor point widgets here and you Alt or Option on Mac, click on these, it'll just kind of cycle through. Kind of neat. You can also double click and it opens up a little dialog box where you can go in and make exact or precise changes. And this is also where you can change, you know, the different types of corners. You can come to radius and if you need them all to be an exact amount, I could type that in. And you'll notice this is kind of interesting. It's called live corners for a reason because there's no preview in here and it's just happening. So as I change, it's doing it. Now I'll go to round here. Now this really isn't going to happen or change an effect here, but the rounding, we actually have absolute and relative. And absolute is it's just kind of maintaining the corner, the roundness, no matter what. Whereas relative kind of looks at the angle of the paths and kind of works at it that way. So for instance, if I click OK, if I draw, let me just use my anchor point here, my uh, pen tool rather. I'll draw a little path and then just quickly, I'm using shortcuts there, the letter D to set default color. I'm going to zoom into this so you can see it. If I come up and click on that anchor point and select and drag, you can see right here. So you can see it's not a closed path, that's cool. If I double click on that and I go into the corners, you'll see that we've got absolute and we've got relative. And you'll see a difference there. It's almost like when you put a... Uh, I'm not going there. Anyway, <laughs> I'll click OK. That's fine. The other thing you can do, let me back out here, is if you select an object, let's suppose that you want to just round one corner that's already been rounded or one corner that has live corners applied. Well, if you deselect, go to the direct selection tool. If you come and click on the segment, the path there, you'll see that it selects just that one. You can also click on or select like one of the points and it shows you the widget. And you'll see that eventually I'll get to a point where I can't go any further. There we go, the red. Okay, now you can also go up to the control panel and if you select your anchor points, come up to corners, click on that, you'll see the link and you can do pretty much the same thing. And we can also set this out here. Now, if you want to remove any kind of you know live corner effects you've applied, and it, actually I'm mistaken. It, these are, you guys, these are not effects, by the way. These, these are actually uh, affecting the underlying object. So. This is not something you're going to, let's say, just strip off one day. You can remove them by simply dragging back or setting the corner radius to zero if you want to. That's another, that's one way to do it. So, but it, it's on the shape. It's affecting the underlying shape. So there you go. There's a, just a quick overview of live corners. Lots of stuff we can do with that. Hopefully you enjoyed it.